around the figure isn't it we will recollect everyone have to get ready with your rough note So last class that we discussed at the end of the session we discussed about perimeter so what does it mean that perimeter perimeter of a figure is the what that is the distance around the figure so how will you calculate that one perimeter of the figure the perimeter of the figure is always measured in single unit that may be centimeter isn't it meter kilometer etc so how will you calculate the perimeter of that figure so how should we do sum of all sides the sum of all the lengths of a figure isn't it that is known as perimeter so if you see that one triangle that given so what is the perimeter of the triangle can you anyone can you give the answer for that one unmute and give your answer there perimeter of the meter ma'am yes well, because we used to what add up sum of all the length isn't it so instead of saying 12 you have to give the unit of the length very good 12 meter similarly if you see that one perimeter of the rectangle can you give that one perimeter of the rectangle which one is in the second figure 12 centimeter 12 centimeter how much 12 centimeter 12 centimeter you have to work out in your which one rough note then we will see another one day yes so what is the perimeter of this square 40 ma'am 40 is it 40 20 cm 20 cm very good 20 The short form yeah. perimeter. I'm writing P. Centimeter. Centimeter. Without fail, you have to mention the unit. Got it? Because if you won't write this part, what will happen? Totally wrong. Got it? So if you given the correct answer without right unit. so that is wrong only what it you have to give that exact unit of that measurement centimeter are you clear children so perimeter is how will you calculate the sum of all the lengths of a figure is called its perimeter then the perimeter of any figure is defined as the distance around the figure so we have discussed in last session about the perimeter okay can you give me the perimeter of this star check how many sides are they so you can use the multiplication also there see that one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 30 cm very good 30 cm very good children 30 cm 30 cm ma'am so instead of keep on adding little children instead of keep on adding that all the sides so better you can be what multiply isn't it 10 by 3 will get 
30 centimeter. Okay, come to the next one. So you have to calculate in your notebook. So they've given 4 centimeter as a length part. By side they're given 2 centimeters. So what is the perimeter of that first figure? 12 ma'am. 12 ma'am. 12 yes. centimeter. 12 centimeter. Very good. Here, here. Ma'am, Similarly, here also. Give me the children. Mute, Are you clear with perimeter now? Is there any doubt? No. Any doubt? Give me any shape. Are you clear? Okay, wow. And then are you clear within that perimeter? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now we are going to see the new topic today. 12 centimeter. Okay, very good. 12 centimeter we have seen. Okay, children. Now we are going to see the new topic, new chapter in that one. Lesson number 10. Okay, before that, I'll ask you that one question. Okay. What is in real life situation? Lesson yes. number 10. Yes, dear? Lesson number 10 is area only, ma'am. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. We are going to see that one. Please mute and listen carefully because you normally are going to get that concept. Please listen carefully. Okay? Suppose you would like to paint your wall. Okay, children? Yes. So, would like to paint where? Where do you like to paint? Wall only, isn't it? So, what do you need? Wall. Similarly, if you would like to, if you would like to get which one? Cover for your bed. So, while to cover the floor of your area so welcome there even though to cover the carpet that particular room so what do you need what do you need for that one as soon as you go to the shop immediately can you buy that one you can't isn't it immediately the person also the vendor also they used to ask how much you need isn't it the similarly so to paint so we have to calculate Measurement or estimate the total what surface of that place. If you'd like to paint the wall. So how much paint do you need to paint the wall? Isn't it? Parents come to know that one. They used to calculate. Based on that only they used to go to the shop and get the material to cover bed sheet, maybe to cover the floor, even though to paint the wall. So what do you need? We have to calculate the measurement of that particular surface, a particular area. So today we are going to see that only. Okay. Based on that only, our topic is today area. So before come to know the term area, just see the following examples. Easy to understand the concept of that area. Okay, children, listen carefully. Okay, dear friends, everyone have to mute. Mute your mobile. Here we are discuss later on. So listen, Kana. Listen carefully. Mute your mobile. Okay, now. If you see the book. Everyone mute your mobile now. Yes. If you see that one, so how many surfaces are used to cover the entire surface of box? Tell me how many surfaces are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, as well as 6. Then come here, the area of the box is equal to 
how many chocolates that we have calculate now so the area of the box is equal to six chocolates i'll come to the next example so consider that varun has a chart paper here So, you know, he is having the set of origami sheets there. So, he is trying to cover the chart paper with the origami sheets. Okay, so we are going to cover now. These so, origami sheets side by side. If you see that one, one, two, like this, used to keep on cover that one. And the chart paper like this, one, two, three, four, five, like this. It will end up the thirtieth square. A thirtieth anatomy sheet. Chart paper was fully covered, isn't it? So he could not place to no any more place to cover that one, isn't it? So now tell me the area of the chart paper is equal to how many anatomy sheets now? Okay. We'll see next one. कवर द फ्लोर मीनिंग ऑफ दट area so the area is that amount of space inside the boundary of a flat object isn't it so such as if you see that one triangle square rectangle that is the surface of the solid object that can be dimensional shape so what is the above area so in the what we have seen so we have seen the area of an object using different things we have measured by using what chocolate then are we using here some float and so measured the area by using concrete material is non standard isn't it what is the meaning the non standard we already discussed isn't it what is the meaning of non standard non standard Because different things have different shape as well as size. So as a result, what we will get? There will be different measurement even for the same object. To see that example, see this. Now we are going to take one geometry box. Now we are going to count by using that. Which one? We are taking the green. So then first one, if you see there. So we need that green paper to cover the top surface of the geometry box. So how many needed now? Totally, if you cover, how many needed to cover the green surface of that one? Completely covered by using twelve green paper to twelve green paper, isn't it? Why cover that one? See that one, one two like this to cover that. Entire surface of oh, the remaining portion we are seeing there, isn't it? So to cover that, both the same box only, but we use different types of box. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve.
Ma'am, you are in mute. Ma'am, we can't hear you. Now? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, dear. Yeah. So, now we can hear you, ma'am. Okay, please mute now. So, the same box, Manli. The first picture, how many green slips that we need? 12. So, what is the surface of that measurement? Here, 12 slips. Well, come here, 15 orange slips. So, what is the exact surface of that geometry box? Here 12, here 15. So, there is a difference. Isn't it? As a result, no kana. So, the same only. There is a difference, isn't it? That is a non-standard. To overcome this kind of situation, we are using the standard form. So, already we have discussed in length. What is the standard means? Standard is which is understandable by everybody, common to everyone. So we are following that one to measure the area in standard form. So far we have seen that concrete things. That when we used to use the non-standard method only we measured. Now we are going to overcome this kind of situation. If there is measured, we are getting the different measurement to overcome this kind of situation, we are using the standard form to measure the two-dimensional shape or flat shape. We are using this unit grid. Got it? So another way of measuring area is by drawing the unit grid. So unit grid is made up of small squares. Can you see that one? These are the small squares intersect horizontally as well as vertically. Isn't it? So, each side of that square is equal to 1 centimeter. All side. So, in each square, which one is in the unit grid, is measured by 1 centimeter. So, now tell me, what is the area of this square? 1 centimeter. Okay? That is a 1 centimeter. How will you use this one to measure the 2D dimensional shape? That means flat shape. Easily know that one. So listen carefully children. Because that is a more important one. Because formula will come. You have to know that formula children. If you remember the formulas. Finding the area will not be difficult for you. Okay. Okay. Now if you see that one. Counting. Counting. 